Hello everyone, welcome in my channel Computer Programming and today I am going to fix that type of error related to the open authentication and that type of error is service dot uh, add authentication dot add Facebook. If you are using open authentication into your project then you will got that type of error uh, in into your project. If you are uh, if you are migrate your project uh, in into the new version like uh, 2.0 to 3.0 that problem will be solved. But uh, if you notice that uh, that exception is method not found, Microsoft.ASP.NET Core dot authentication dot authentication builder, uh, Microsoft dot extensions dot dependency injection dot open authentication extension dot add open auth, Microsoft.ASP.NET Core dot authentication dot authentication builders. So that method is actually not available in the current version. So just you have to add open authentication instead of uh, Facebook directly. So, uh, just open your uh, project file. Uh, so, here we have a project file. You can say that uh, ASP.NET Core uh, dot authentication dot Facebook. So, just remove that package from, um, from your uh, library first of all. So, here we have just remove uh, the library and just save this. And you can say that this is the uh, library. And just I want to, um, if you are if you are facing that type of problem, if, if you have any problem related to the open authentication, then you then you will say that uh, that is the package is not available. You can see that there is a no uh, open authentication. So open authentication project. So just add open auth project. So manage NuGet package and And there is a lots of package open authentication dot uh, so Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot authentication dot open authentication package. So, so first of all uh, install that package and 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 your problem uh, it is not installed actually. So install that package Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot authentication dot uh, Facebook and the uh, stable version is 5.0.17 because uh, you can you know that uh, your uh, your project is actually running on that uh, uh, version. So edit project file you can say that here we have a .NET Core 5.0 project and if you are if you are working in 6.0 then you can install the latest version. Uh, from the given list like that okay so uh, just install that uh, 5.0.7 because the latest uh, your application will run on that uh, version so so here we have and you can see that your problem will be resolved easily so just run this project again and you will see your project is easily working Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ESP.NET Core.